Osio Nagad, Lauren Waters Dawado. Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Waters. I am a creative filmmaker and jewelry artist. I grew up in Norman, Oklahoma. I am Cherokee and Kiowa. And I grew up going to different cultural events throughout my life, like stomp dances, powwows. I spent time in Carnegie going to cultural events out there with the Kiowas. Being native was always something that I knew and was close to me, but it wasn't something that I understood fully until I got older. As I started to explore more about myself and my culture and what that means to me is when I was able to incorporate that more into my life and my work. It's always been something that has been a part of my life and has never been separate from who I am. I love working in the film industry because I feel like it's a chance for Indigenous people to tell our stories from our perspective. And historically, we haven't had the opportunity to do that. We're able to showcase our people in a way that allows us to show fully who we are. And that's authentically and true to our history, our culture. And I really love being able to be the person to do that alongside my community members who are also doing the work. I recently just spoke with an elder about how Cherokee people had worn beadwork and had adornments of beadwork prior to the trail. But as we were removed from our homelands, nobody remembered how to do beadwork anymore. They would always say that Cherokees didn't do beadwork. And so I took it upon myself to learn as much as I could and ask questions to other Cherokee people or other Native people who knew the craft and then just started doing it. I had no idea what I was doing when I started, but as I progressed, it's gotten better and I'm continuing to learn the craft. I think it'll just get better over time. I think women should support other women because women in my past have always supported me. And whenever I see myself moving forward in my work, I want other women to feel empowered and comfortable and open and have all the opportunities that I had and other women should have moving forward. What I would say to an indigenous youth is don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to step into the space. And even if you are afraid, just go for it. 